Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to display two or more base large in Microsoft Project. Okay, so when you are using Microsoft Project to manage or checking the progress for the project plan, so sometimes you want to see some the original version compared with other version in the project. So you want to uh, you want the project Microsoft project will be allow you to display one, two, or more version of base line in of the project plan to do comparison. So Microsoft project it will be fully support for you to do that. That means in this video today I will show you how to do it. Okay, let us start. It. Okay. Assuming this one is the project plan I'm working on, and so now I will have some the bylines first before we can do some the comparison. Okay, so this is the default project plan after I finish creation. So now I will go ahead to do some the first byline. Okay, in order to do the byline, you click on the project on the report tab and then now we get to schedule session. In schedule session, you click on a set baseline uh, row down here, and then click on set baseline. Okay. So on the pop-up, you select the set baseline, yeah. and by default, uh, Microsoft Project will be allow us to do the baseline in eleven version. Okay. And the first project will be baseline zero. Okay. And then select the entire project. Entire project means we are going to do the byline for everything in the project, like the task, task, task list, resources, uh, assignment, duration, or uh, other things in the project. Click on OK button here to confirm the first version of baseline. Okay. Okay, so this is the first version having byline. And so now, in, in case Okay, so to see first, uh, in order to see the byline, you can see that click on the task on the ribbon menus and then click on gun track, roll down here, and you select the checking gun here. Yeah. So you see the checking gun and you take a look into the gun track on the right hand here. There are a gray color in the, in, in the gun track. Yeah. So this is the byline. Based, yeah, so because for now we we have nothing changed with the with the original baseline of this project. So you see here the duration of the baseline and the current the current duration of each task will be the same. Okay. The blue color is the current, and the gray color here is the baseline, the first baseline in this project. Okay. And then I back to the gun chart. Okay, so I will go ahead to, to do some modification. Okay, so for example, uh, you have some issue with the resources in your project, or the first estimation of some task in your project is incorrect because it is very difficult. And also, you have some the uh, new technology in your project, or something like so, causing the extend duration for some tasks in your project yeah when we have some delay in the task it will impact into the project plan okay yeah. especially when we have some any uh, impact or any delays on the critical path in the project yeah so the critical path in this project will be in the red color here in the gun in, in the uh, gun chart okay so when we have anything delay in the gun chart uh, uh, it relate to the critical path, so it will extend extend the timeline for the project. Okay, so here, for example, I'm going ahead to change the task number three from eight day to ten day. Okay, so you see the duration of this project will be increased. Yeah. Let me have a summary task for the. For this project plan, I have project, I don't know, task, and then go to format, project summary. Yeah, okay. This is a summary. 
summary lines for this project. Okay. Okay, let me turn it back to the end first. Yeah, you see, we will be finished this project on uh, 4 November. But when we change it to the 10, 10 day, the duration will be changed to 6 November. Okay. Okay, cool. So now here, let me change, let me have some of the updates on other tasks. Mm. 50, 15, okay, and this one will be the 8 and 6, okay, so, let me come back to the gun chart, checking, yeah, so, when you open the uh, checking gun chart here, you see there are some the difference uh, compared to between the the, the first baseline version and the current version yeah okay cool and show down here if if I think this news plan is okay and the team can finish this plan on time so I will go ahead to do some baseline for this one with a new completed desk for our project I will do the same thing to do the baselines for second version. I will select the baselines number one. Okay, okay. So now, let back to the gun chart first. Okay. And again, I went back to the checking gun chart. So, you see here, in this checking gun chart, we have only one version of the base line. This is the original version. And so now, when I have some the in progress in the tag here, for example, I will have some the impact of chain for some tasks in my project. Something like show. Okay. So, I want to display the other, another version of baseline, yeah, because for now the baseline version will be the uh, version uh, baseline 1 and the original baseline 0, e, I think it's, e, it will be different. So, I want to show two versions of baseline here to do some comparison. Okay, show how to do it. Yeah, just go ahead to click on the the, the, the gun chart here and you select the bar style. Okay, so in the bar style, you just scroll it down. Yeah, and add new a uh, new bar style here. I will call this base line one. Okay, for the base line one, that from and two, I will select this is the base line one start. Base line one start. Base line two. Finish. I believe one finish. Okay, and then in the appearance appearance column, I will be see. Okay, so let me by default now. Click OK. Yeah. So you see here, after we left the color by default, when we click on OK button, you take a look into the gun chart. So the color here for the base line number one will be overlap with other version of the uh, baseline 0 or original baseline and also overlap with other lines of um, tasks in the project yeah so now how to how to resolve the overlap issue okay let me open back the bar style yeah and scroll it down select the base line 1 and here in the bar you going to have to do some the changing here the shaft it will be I will change it to the middle here and the pattern will be solid okay for the color I will select as a color like green color okay 
OK button here. Yeah. So, you see, for now we can see the base line number two will be in the green color. And, and the first base line will be the green color here, still be there. OK. So, you see, for now, the color for the byline number two and the byline originals still overlap okay so here let me come back again to see how can i resolve it mm. Pardon. Okay, so you see here, when we change this one, we can see the uh, color of the first balance and then also the color of the second balance. Okay, and we also see some the color of the current task. Okay, cool. Even you can also yeah show here you have those as the two by two by line in this project plan. Okay, so even you can add more and more version of the baseline in the project. For example, I will go ahead to add the version number three here. Okay. Okay, so here let me back to the project and set by line. Yeah, you see here for now we have one, two, and I, I will do the balance for three, version three. Okay. Project, set balance number three, number two. Okay, two equal three, okay. So now here, I will go ahead to do some changing here. Okay. Okay. So let me open bar styles and add one more row here. Base line two, and it will be the base line two to start, and base line two finish. Finish. Okay. And also, I think we should change some of the appearance because you see here the column width and high here is small. So we should make it look better to resolve the issue for overlapping. This one, this one. Hmm, no, no. The color, the color, I will select yellow. Oh no, it looks not good. It's so small. It's so small. Okay, hang on. Give me some icon, uh, some, some, some second. Very small. Okay, so it, I think it looks better. Let me also make this one bigger. Mm, okay. It look better. So here you can see the first one gray color will be the original version of base line. Okay. The second one in the in, in green will be the base line number one. Okay. And the yellows will be the bylines number two. Okay. That means you can see here in this gun chart checking we have we are displaying three versions of the base line in our project. Okay. So okay so I think you can add one more or even uh, uh other version of the baseline. Basically it's by default the Microsoft project 
it will be support for the 11 version of Spaylight so I think you can go ahead to also add 11 version of Spaylight in the checking and check here in order to do some the review or some the comparison between each version in your project okay so I think I will stop this video right now because I think it is enough information for you after you finish this video or uh, if you have any question please let me know so I will try to answer you as soon as possible okay thank you guys for your time and hope this one will be helpful for you okay so let's see in other video later bye bye